So today we're going to be looking at creating, exporting and importing LUTs into Premiere Pro. LUT is an abbreviation that stands for Lookup Table. Essentially it is a file that holds a preset of a colour and tone correction. So I've got this drone clip of me walking near this cove in Sardinia. And at the moment it's just the raw footage, so it's looking really flat because it was filmed in a log format. So we're going to come up here to the limited tree color tab. I'm going to make some changes here to the exposure, the contrast and the saturation. So you can see a real change in the image. So now you can see an obvious difference between the two clips before and after. Now to create the LUT, we need to come up to the Limitary Color tab and we need to either click the three lines on the right hand side there or right click on that tab. And we're going to click export.cube and then I rename this Sardinia. Now I also like to save a .look file just so I have it both in the same location. Go to the creative tab on the right hand side and you can click browse and find your .cube file and uh, import it that way. But unfortunately doing that doesn't mean that it will appear in those drop down folders every single time. So you keep having to click browse and then find the file on your computer. So now I'm going to show you a way to get around that. So we need to get two finder windows. So you go to the applications and then find Adobe Premiere Pro. Right click on this file and show package contents. Go to contents, scroll down to the Lumetri folder and then LUTs and then creative legacy or technical and you can drop your .cube file straight into the creative file or the legacy file and that will mean that it will appear in the basic correction drop down menu or the creative drop down menu once you do this it will ask you for your um, password if you're running on a mac so i'm just going to enter my password here and now if we go back to premiere pro you can see at the moment it's not there now this is because we need to close down uh, Premiere Pro and we need to restart the system before it appears. If you go to the Creative tab and click on Look, you can see that my Creative LUT is, is there, Sardin. So a little tip here for you is to apply the uh, LUT to a adjustment layer on top of the clip so that you can adjust this across your whole workflow. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and if you've got any comments pop them down below. I'll see you in the next video.